Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to continue making the progression, hero progression, uh, for every single true type. We already did for archers and for mages and... If you are infantry player or if you are interested in making at least some solid infantry hero pairs, then I think this video is for you. We are going to discuss the infantry hero pairs from the beginners to early game to mid game and to late game, right? Because every single stage, uh, meta heroes of the every single troop type are being changed. So it will be better for you to understand which ones are good and which ones are maybe not meta but still fine, right? Uh, at first, of course, as always, we have to imagine that we are starting the game and we are total beginners, right? At first, you have a couple of choices on making uh, pretty good hero pairs in for infantry, right? First and always the main one is, of course, Madeline with Nika. Uh, actually, Madeline with Nika was one of the first infantry meta hero pair, which lasted for like uh, maybe two and a half seasons. Uh, it was everywhere, right? Simply because Madeline was giving a lot of troop capacity uh, from the second skill um, and Nika was dealing damage. It was like pure counter-attack uh, damage dealer hero pair for tier 5 players, for infantry players, right? Uh, and of course, if you are aiming for... A legendary hero pair it's the beginning of the game then i think you can actually um unlock madeline from the lucky spins uh you will need to have 10 uh, tokens of madeline and then you're gonna have vip uh, dailies and slowly you will build her up it's a good that every single skill is usable uh everywhere which is amazing of course especially for free-to-play players because uh, investing legendary tokens to a hero uh, whenever there is like one less skill which is usable in open field it always feels bad right so madeline can be a great choice during the beginning it sees early stages to give some levels and nika is gettable from the you know, gold keys which is pretty normal organic gameplay right and of course if you don't want to invest even on madeline for example there is another beginner uh, type of hero pair which is quite cool in my opinion which is uh, Garwood which is gettable from the uh, normal keys and Eliana right the main idea about this hero pair is the healing um, Eliana is of course is easy to awaken epic hero and, and awakening Eliana gives us heal factor 400 and all, of course Eliana itself has a lot of defensive stats right normal attack damage reduction 30 percent so generally eliana overall she's pretty cool uh and garwood well main idea about garwood is healing and more healing you wanna get on garwood better it will be uh like generally garwood makes um hero pair uh tankier by healing so garwood with the eliana can be quite good hero pair for the early stages of the game right so already you have two choices uh, first one is uh, Madeline and Nika, and second one is uh, Garwood with Eliana, right? So it depends which which kind of hero you will unlock and which kind what kind of decisions you are going to make uh, in terms of uh, uh, hero pairs, right? If you don't have Madeline, then I think you are running Eliana with um, Garwood with Eliana, and Nika is all like kind of sidelined because you don't have other hero which will be suitable for a Nika, right? And that's why I say you you either cho choosing one, right? You either getting a Madeline with the gems and getting Nika paired up with her, or you're playing with um, Eliana and uh, Garwood. Uh, for the artifacts, for example, for Madeline and for Nika, I think uh, generally for any Madeline. Um, Hero pair, you might say that Dragon Rift is pretty great, great in terms of skill set and what you are getting from the uh, Dragon Rift. But I find myself um, uh, observing that uh, like offensive artifacts on infantry are really, really bad in my opinion. Um, you are just not that tanky anymore if your artifact is offensive, right? So in my opinion, for Madeline and Nika, the correct artifacts should be. Either Dragon Scale Armor, I think HP is the amazing buff, 
uh, um, or even like Kramer's Warhammer, but I still, it's way better to have Dragon Scale Armor. I think that's like tier one choice is Dragon Scale Armor and even a Spirit Bone Torque, right? I think Torque is the best artifact so far in the game uh, for any infantry hero pair. But like, let's say Dragon Scale Armor and Torque on the same tier, then it comes a Grey Mare's Warhammer and everything what's connected to these artifacts are their stats are defensive, right? This is the new artifact for the new um, infantry hero and it's offensive, which I don't think is suitable for Madeline and Nika. Uh, in terms of uh, Eliana and Garwood, that's like, um, well, more free-to-play friendly hero pair and I think Fengo Pashkari should be totally fine uh, if you are using um, on this hero pair and it's way easier because you can get Fengo Pashkari from the normal keys, right? So this is all about like early game, right? Um, the both two decisions which you might make um, with this cast, right? These two hero pairs are like kind of only choices. After that, if you want to like, doesn't really matter if you choose one direction with Eliana or uh, Madeline. Um, next step, like more of a uh, not already a be beginning, but mid game of the game, I think. Uh, better it would be to have Madeline with Garwood, right? Um, Garwood, you can get uh, skills from the gold keys and Madeline, well, if you chose the path of having Madeline and Nika, you have already have Madeline. I'm pretty sure you already have Madeline tokens on the dailies, uh, right? So you already have some kind of good skills. Why this hero pair is good? Um, Madeline give us more troops. Uh, Madeline is dealing some kind of damage and also shield factor 1200 is not a joke it's still a same kind of survivability right and whenever you pair something like that with the garwood with its own healing survivability it means that you are getting some kind of little bit bruiser like damage dealer tank right uh, of course uh, in terms of artifact well dragon scale armor and spirit bone torque is uh, still the case there's the two artifacts which you can get, which which will be better for the Madeline and Garwood hero pair. And yeah, if you have Sp uh, Torque or Dragon Scale Armor, you are already really, really happy, right? Still same artifacts in terms of tiers, but of course, if you don't have these exclusive artifacts, uh, then I think you should not really... Um, be sad because we have uh, Fengo Fashkari here, which is pretty good in terms of tankiness, I think... Uh, Legion defensive stats gives uh, Legion a um, lot of defensive uh, attributes, right? Only, of course, in terms of scale, I know it's not like super flashy, it is what it is. I like Fengo Fashkari because of the stats, not because of the skill. So, the Madeline and Garwood, I think, is the correct and good uh, mid game uh, a hero pair, like uh, kind of progressing um, through the first phase if you run Madeline and Nika. Uh, Madeline and Garwood is better. If you run Garwood with Eliana, Madeline and Garwood is better. So that's like a next step, uh, like second step, uh, how you can progress through the uh, infantry heroes throughout the game, right? Because like every single season, you are progressing through the gameplay and the uh, like strengths of the players. So you have to be better every single new KVK. And so we are into the point where we have to discuss one of the best and most popular hero pair, not only in terms of infantry, but in general in the game. And that's why after these two new hero pair came out, whole meta changed, not only for infantry, for almost every single uh, troop type in the game. And of course, we are speaking about Goresh and Skolgul. Um, I think most iconic hero pair currently in Call of, the Call of Dragons, um, I think, uh, I don't know, every tier 5 infantry player's dream hero pair, which is, uh, which I think you're gonna get a lot of fun, that's one, you're gonna get a lot of uh, effect during the PvPs, your team plays and your team and your alliance are going to love you because you are infantry player and you have Goresh and Skolgul. Uh, well, of course, uh, ev as every hero, this hero has own limits. It will be better, of course, to have Skogul Awakened uh, because Skogul Awakened is amazing. And in terms of Goresh, I think five, uh, five, five 
uh, can be fine. Five, 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 one. Like love, force, force skill is not important to have. Of course, it would be super epic if you have Skogul and Gorish awakened together. Uh, both of them, it gives you a lot of stats, guys. It's almost, imp it's like Gorish and Skogul is the bad dream of ranged and DPS player. This is how good this hero pair is. So if you are infantry player or if you want to be infantry player in the future, then I'm advising you to save every single legendary token which you will ever get in Call of Dragons and invest those tokens to Skogul and Goresh. That's the idea I'm having and that's the idea I want to spread. Um, that's the way of the gameplay right now. I'm not saying it's bad or good. I'm saying if you like infantry playstyle, you will love this game and you will love this hero pair, right? I won't gonna continue too much regarding this hero pair. If you won't gonna uh, believe me, you can ask any Call of Dragons player. They will say same. You have survivability. You have a lot of defensive stats, a lot of important defensive stats, a lot of counter-attack damage, a lot of resistances. So, like, you can't have anything more. And what's funny, um, the artifact... For the Goresh and Skogul hero pair is the artifact which came out with them. It, it is Paid Bone Torque, right? This is the best artifact which gonna give you 600 rage points and towns up to 5 surrounding enemy legions. If you are like World of Warcraft's player or any other player, any other game player like that, which are like killing bosses, you love to have towns, right? That's what tanks do. So this is what Spirit Bone Torque is going to give you and also 15% defense which is shelter and minus 5% normal attack damage taken. Best artifact for infantry for the best hero pair for infantry troop type. I won't gonna speak much about this hero pair because it is so good, right? And of course, if you are like um, choosing to believe me and you are moving through past this uh, all of these uh, steps you already have a couple of good hero pairs for infantry troops right of course you are upgrading more infantry troops um, if you are infantry player you already who have good garwood you have eliana you have good nika you have good madeline because at some point of the gameplay you were playing with them right and you are already having goresh and skogul which means um, at the end of the day, <clears throat> at the end of the at, the, at the late game, right, you are using Goresh and Skogul with the Spirit Bone Torque, that's your best and main infantry hero pair. You have secondary infantry hero pair, which is Madeline and Garud, and if you have the Dragon Scale Armor, you have the Dragon Scale Armor here, and in the end, you can even build up, like, I don't know, with Madeline, like, uh, Eliana with Nika, for now, uh, until you're gonna have better third infantry hero pair, right? Which means for now, for sure, um, infantry troop type of infantry maining has two uh, great, great hero pairs, which is Goresh and Skolgul and Madeline and Garud. And we already know that new heroes are coming to the town, which is Danfell and Gar Mog Mogro. And I'm pretty sure, like, uh, at least uh, one new hero pair will come out out of these two heroes, which will be, which will mean that infantry playstyle is having three um, uh, great hero pairs for the late game, which is really important to understand if you are maining uh, any single uh, troop type in the game. Uh, and yep, of course, um, uh, infantry playstyle is viable. It's fun. It's good, um, and it has a high effect on every single feature of the game uh, this is all i wanted to share guys in terms of infantry hero progression for every stages of the call of dragons gameplay i hope you guys understood my points and if you are going to use these ideas please share click like subscribe um, it always gives me more motivation to make more content for this game um, as always i wish everybody amazing morning day or night wherever you are we are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and luck.